We're really proud of the fact that we started our practice with the focus on rhinoplasty, and even 10 years later, we still love the procedure. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that's where it all started for Jason and I. It, it's a real passion. Rhinoplasty is, you know, it's the creme de la creme procedure in plastics in general, and I think we take so much pride in having been able to build a practice on our reputation as rhinoplasty surgeons because that's hard to do because if you imagine, unlike most things in plastic surgery, most people who want their nose done don't want to tell anybody. It's such a personal thing. It's got to fit. It's got to be just right for your face. And we take a lot of pride in the fact that when it's done right, nobody knows. It just feels right. You feel comfortable. You get back to life and you know, people are commenting on your hair, your eyes, or how good you look and not on your nose. So rhinoplasty was always a passion. It was the thing that we started with and it's what drives us because the technical details have just been something that we really love. It's, it's where I think the, the fact that we work together makes such a difference because every millimeter is critical and having that other person that you trust that sits there across the way and goes, I'm seeing an edge here, a corner there. Maybe that stitch didn't work exactly the way we want it to look. It, it, it's made all the difference. I think that's why our revision rate is probably one of the lowest in the world. And I think I would humbly say that I would put our work up against anybody in the world. I think we achieve that sort of thing with these cases. Yeah, we do a lot of rhinoplasty. We do about 250 rhinoplasties a year. Patients fly from all over the world to have surgery with us, both first time rhinoplasty and revision surgery. and no two noses are the same. I think one of the great things that we love about this procedure is we do something a little bit different for everyone. There is no cookie cutter profiles nose. What we're really after is to try to identify the specific issues that are bugging you. And most rhinoplasty patients have wanted this forever. You know, I can't tell you the number of times we hear, you know, since I was a kid in junior high, I've hated this nose, I want this change. And that's very different from a facelift or a brow lift or other things where this is something that with age, they've started to notice a, as a problem. Whereas rhinoplasty is really kind of an identity bearing feature. And it's something that has bothered people for a long time. It gives us a tremendous amount of joy in being able to turn that around.